for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? All the action is next, live on EA TV. Hello everyone, great to be with you. We're here at Kirkley Stadium in Huddersfield. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Huddersfield Town up against Hertha Berlin. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And so the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. And here's the lineup for Hertha. Well, they're using the same shape, so this comes down to who plays it better and who gets better support to their front striker. It should be a good tactical battle. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, what confidence he's playing with at the moment. Second top scorer in the competition, and I expect him to have more impact again today. Now he must favour the cross. Mark Oliver Kemp. Zeefuik. Florian Niederlechner with it. Reze. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Top class defending. This looks interesting. Kasumu. Can he take advantage? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Spencer. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Able to skip past his man. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. David Kasumu. Turton. Well, possibilities inside the box. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Barcock. Really committed himself to the tackle and a throw in now. Zeefauk. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Barcock. And teammates around him. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. It's 
So underway again here. One nil the score. Gasumu. Thomas. Pearson. And a lot to like about this attack. He has time to play it over. Plattered away. That's really good and effective physical play. David Kasumu. How can they prize them open now? And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Zeyfauk. Thomas. Helic. Koroma. And he takes on the shot. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. And there's the delivery. Still not clear. Just couldn't get it through. Well, there goes the half-time whistle, and that is going to be all for the first half here at the Kirklee Stadium. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Pearson. Into the advanced position. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Options in the middle. Firing it towards goal. And just too much height on the shot. Fabian Reisen. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. And an effective clearance. Making progress. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Can they hit on the break? Crossing opportunity. Barcock. Tony Leister. In possession, Dadai. It's 
So a half an hour remaining. It's with Dadai. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Well, passing moves like this will keep confidence levels up. It needs an accurate cross. Zeefag. Reze. Florian Niederlechner. And a fine tackle. Now can they counter clinically? Can they make it count? And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. 20 minutes to go. Mark Oliver Kemp. Trying to really get at the opposition here, but really sticking to the task defensively. Rodoni, effective looking pass. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Well, it petered out. John Joe Kenny. Possession, Dadai. Wasteful from Herta. Plenty of support here. But nothing comes of it. Well, this game ebbing away and the visitors on course to eke out a narrow victory. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Well, they've decided to make a change. And teammates to play it to. Still not clear. Hertha doing well to regain possession. And they've given him too much space. Who can he pick out? Getting the better of his opponents. Chance to finish! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off! Wonderful to have that in your repertoire! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is really well taken because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. Two nil now and back underway. Helic, Jack Rodoni. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.